breaks overnight tonight. As we drop to near 60 late tonight, early in the morning, a cool night, virtually no breeze in the morning, cool early on, getting much warmer later. High temperatures approaching 90 in some areas, and the weekend forecast is just a few minutes plus the seven day forecast and at the latest look at Hurricane Ophelia. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. And now the news is on your way. Coverage you can count on. This is Way 31 News, live at 6. One evacuee family is now calling themselves Huntsvillians. See how the United Way helped this family get back on their feet. And signs of life are flowing back into some parts of the Gulf Coast. The latest on hurricane relief efforts straight ahead. Good evening. I'm Sharon Gilbiet. And I'm Erin Dacey. In New, one New Orleans family is dropping the term evacuees and referring to themselves as Huntsvillians. With all the grief Hurricane Katrina has brought, local agencies and charities were determined to give this family a happy ending. Today, Shannon McDomick and her husband, Corey, and their two children, Henry and Courtney, celebrated their future with the United Way of Madison County. Two weeks ago, they came to Madison County with a suitcase. The United Way has helped both parents secure jobs and find daycare for Henry. The New Covenant Home Group is providing a place for the family to live. Shannon says when she evacuated the family, she just got in the car and drove. And she says she was led here and is now here to stay. But they're so friendly around here. So friendly. And just like I said, so much help. It's just powerful. It's, it's the spirit of the community that shines during these um, tragic times. The United Way has a plethora of stories of hope just like that one. For more information on how you can help them help others, log on to our website at waytv.com. The massive federal recovery effort from Hurricane Katrina is under new management tonight. FEMA Director Michael Brown was relieved of that responsibility after being blamed by many for his poor performance. A Coast Guard Admiral will take over Brown's duties in the disaster zone. There are signs of life in New Orleans. Power is expected to be fully restored to the downtown area in the next week as water levels continue to drop dramatically. Pilots are now shifting from rescuing people to getting supplies to neighborhoods. The military has begun locating where the dead need to be recovered, but believe there will be far fewer bodies than once predicted. Also, the Federal Emergency Management Agency plans to scrap the $2,000 debit card program for Hurricane Katrina evacuees. No details on why yet. More evacuees are enrolling their children in schools around here. The Alabama Department of Education says more than 3,000 new students displaced by Hurricane Katrina are now enrolled in Alabama public schools. Of course, more students means more teachers have to be hired. The state says it is ready to issue emergency teaching certificates to displaced teachers to work in Alabama classrooms. Applicants will have their backgrounds checked through the Education Department. Are your children buckled in correctly? Bill Heard Chevrolet on University Drive in Huntsville is holding a car seat check this month. Professionally trained technicians will inspect and install car seats to parents and caregivers. The next car seat checkup at Bill Heard Chevrolet in Huntsville will be from 9 to 1 on Tuesday. Then on the following day, September 14th from 2 until 6. Your last chance is Friday, September 30th from 9 until 1. Free booster seats will also be available, so come out and make sure your child is traveling safely. Time to shift gears. Tomorrow's another big Saturday of college football. We here at Way 31 are happy to bring you special insight each week on Alabama and Auburn's upcoming games. Here's sports director T.W. Starr with another installment of Talking Tide and Tigers. Hi, everybody. Welcome into another edition of Talking Tide and Tigers. I'm T.W. Starr, and I'm joined by a couple of guys you probably already know, but I'm going to introduce them to you once again anyway. Chris Anderson played on the 1992 National Championship team for the Alabama Crimson Tide. To my right, Andy Fuller in the early 90s, and all SEC tied in for the Auburn Tigers. Andy, we're going to start with you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I know, Georgia Tech game, kind of tough. It's been a long time since the uh, Auburn fans have tasted that bitter pill defeat four interceptions in critical parts of the game. Right. Talk about that game against the Yellow Jackets. Well, I, I think we, we started out slow. And I think that's what Coach Tobiel said in his news conference. Uh, we, we just started out slow. We gave up uh, 10 points real quick right off the bat. Um, but if you look at the, fir the first first quarter, first half defense, start settling down at the rest of the second half. And we, we came out and played good, but I think once you turn the ball over in critical parts of the field, the red zone, and you don't come out with any points against a great team like Georgia Tech, you're not going to win the game, and we saw that, but I think they're going to come back and correct those mistakes and be ready for Mississippi State. And we'll talk about Mississippi State in just a moment. Chris, Alabama did get a victory against Middle Tennessee State. 
Not a very impressive showing in that first half. Kind of slow by all accounts. The coaches, the players, they weren't happy with the performance in the first half. But the second half got things going a little bit. Talk about the win over the Blue Raiders. Well, it's an uh, important one. That's one that we're supposed to win. That's what we got to do. Go out there and win the games that you're supposed to win. Then, you know, win some of the ones that you're not expecting to win. But uh, overall, we started off slow. Uh, like I said, those offensive guys got to get the, get the uh, rhythm down, get, uh, get their... Uh, continuity together and everybody's got to get on the same direction but they are coming together and Brody in the second half came came alive mm -hmm. made some good passes made one bad interception uh, where he threw in the coverage uh, one time but uh, overall I think they, they did well the defense was, was swarming like they always do and that's that's kind of defense yeah and key for the Crimson Tide no major injuries Freddie Roach got banged up a little bit but uh, looks like he's going to be able to play in the next game on Saturday so we'll get back to next week in a moment first over to you Andy Auburn opens up SEC play against Sylvester Croom and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Uh, how is this team going to rebound from a loss, you know, that feeling that they haven't yeah. had for a while? Well, I just think we just had to come out and just have great intensity. I think that's one thing we didn't have the first quarter of the game against Georgia Tech. I like the guys were still kind of nervous and still trying to get the feel of being back in the game type atmosphere. But I think if we can just come out and match the intensity, establish the run. I mean, we tried to do it against Georgia Tech and like we went away from, but we can establish the run, have a ball control offense. I think we'd be successful because don't take things away from Cox because he went out there and played a great game uh, to be his first first time starting a big game on national TV. He had a great game, but if we can just let him make the offense come to him, I think we'd be successful. So if you had to give us your keys of the game, they would be? Establish the run. Uh, let Cox continue doing what he's doing, short passing game, get his confidence going, and then our defense just putting pressure. I think that's one thing we missed against Georgia Tech. We were out of position a lot. I think we just come out there and still keep the intensity, put pressure on their quarterback, Connor. I think we would have a successful day. All right, Chris, taking on the uh, Southern Miss Golden Eagles, a team that's been uh, kind of displaced by Hurricane Katrina, so they're facing some adversity even off the football field. But uh, in hearing some of the press conferences this week, uh, all the players and coaches at Alabama say, hey, when, uh, when uh, football is out there, when the kickoff happens, that those guys will be ready to play. Talk about your keys to the game and playing a little bit better opponent this, this uh, week. Definitely. Uh, you know, Southern Miss has got talent. Uh, they got defensive backs that are you know, top-notch in the nation. They got a cornerback in John Hubanks and a, and a safety in Travis Coley that, uh, that rank up there in the top. You know, they're going to be probably high draft picks coming, mm -hmm. out, coming out this year. But uh, what we're going to have to do is uh, run the ball like we did last week, and run it well with Darby inside and you know, stretch him to the outside a little bit, and then Brody's going to have to pass the ball and uh, be effective in the pass game as well. But the, but the run helps the pass. That's, yeah. that's how it works. You got do, can't do one, one without the other. So hopefully um, all those young offensive linemen got some playing time. We got some, they played nine true freshmen last week. So they're getting the experience. They're getting the depth. They just keep going in the right direction. I'm telling you, offensive-wise, and Brody stays healthy, he stays off his back, we're going to be successful in every game we play. So hopefully uh, they'll, the defense will keep doing what they're doing. They do it every week. And you know, Alabama's known for his defense, the linebackers. We might have, you know, um, uh, Roach, he might be out. He, he's he's right. day to day, so right. I don't know if he's going to be back to play or not. But I think he's, he's one of the leaders on the team, and he needs to be out there on the field. But if he's not, I, I'm sure other guys will step up and uh, get the job done. And guys, I think it'll be interesting in, in, in hearing what the, the two teams said after the game and in their uh, midweek press conferences is that you see the most improvement from week one to week two. After right. you get your first taste uh, of, the, right. of the show, mm -hmm. you see a lot of improvement from the young guys and right. so forth. And let's get your pick on uh, the game coming up this week. I'm going to go with the Tigers, um, 28 to 10. I just feel if we can get Cox to turn those interceptions into four touchdowns, I think we'd be successful, but if we can just, I think, start out maybe with Carl Stewart in the backfield, establish that run in the middle, I think we'll come out, come out victorious. So I'm predicting Auburn 28, Mississippi State 10. All right, Chris, your turn. This one's going to be a tough one. I mean, I, we, we were uh, big favorites this week, mm -hmm. like I said, and Southern Miss is going to have a big chip on the shoulder because they have been displaced and they're, they're going to play with uh, a lot of emotion. So mm -hmm. they always do. Like I said, people bring their game, they're playing Alabama. So hopefully it'll come out. It's going to be a closer game. I think it'll be 20 to. 20 to 10. 20 to 10, okay. And that's hopefully we'll you know, be able to 20 to 10 field. Alabama, you're saying? Of course. Okay. Yeah, I'm just making sure. Life. Just making Alabama sure. All, day long. <laughs> all right. There you have the picks. And uh, enjoy it, guys. Thanks a lot. We'll do Thank it again you. next week. All right. All right. Everybody. That's going to do it for another edition of Talking Titan Tigers.
Good deal. Thanks, CW. The swings were less than perfect, but it didn't matter because they were golfing for a good cause. 34 teams participated in the 12th annual Tim Morgan Golf Classic today. Morgan, the Madison County District Attorney, says each year the fundraiser gets bigger and better thanks to sponsors and volunteers. This year's proceeds will benefit the SAP Shelter for Women and Children and Therapy Partners. Well, they have the fundamentals, but how about having a little fun? Find out how local tourist attractions are making a crisis a little bit easier for evacuees here in Alabama when Way 31 News Live at 6 continues. Lots of fun to be had with outdoor plans this weekend. Weather should not be a problem. 74 by 9 tonight, 60 in the morning, and highs tomorrow once again nudging 90. Coming up next, a look at Ophelia and what that storm will do. Give you a hint, it is forecast to become a landfalling hurricane. Now, we'll talk next, live at 6. You're watching Way 31 News Live at 6 with Sharon Doviat and Aaron Dacey. Aaron is honored by the Associated Press as the state's top anchor for the third year in a row. Closed captioning brought to you in part by L.A. Weight Loss. Who needs employee pricing when you can have bottom line pricing during the Regal Nissan Labor Day held over? Bottom line sells a bit. Ultimate pricing is what you'll find in Regal Nissan on a massive $6 million in new and used inventory. Get bottom line pricing and special financing on every new 2005 Nissan and stock. Pay zero down and earn top dollar for your trade. Compare employee pricing to Nissan pricing and you'll get the bottom line. And you have my word on it. Get in and shift to Regal Nissan, Alabama's home for new Nissans. With the full authorization from the cities of Decatur and Huntsville under permit number 005125, Parnell's Furniture is quitting business forever. Everything must go to the bare walls. Get there before Parnell's warehouses and showrooms are empty. The time limit is set by the city is drawing near. In an effort to expedite this event, Parnell's has just taken additional markdowns on all remaining inventory. Save more than you would ever expect as Parnell's Furniture prepares to close the doors forever. Parnell's, Huntsville and Decatur. Here comes Kevin, who just added DirecTV service to his Bell South Answers bundle, and look at him go. Now he can catch his favorite NFL games around the league with the DirecTV exclusive NFL Sunday ticket. Call now to find out how to get four months of DirecTV's best programming package for free. With DirecTV service, Kevin has access to over 225 all-digital quality channels with more sports, more movies, and more entertainment than ever. Plus, bundle DirecTV service with Bell South Unlimited local and long distance and high-speed internet service and get up to $125 cash back. Plus, enjoy huge savings month after month. Ask us how to get a free standard DirecTV system and installation. Call today or visit bellsouth.com slash bundle up to order your new services. With DirecTV service, Kevin's TV will never be the same. Bell South. Listening. Answering. Now, your Storm Force 31 forecast. Simple and accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Brad Huffines. Nice and warm today. It's going to be warm this weekend, too. Warm again. In fact, the weather's warm enough to do things outside, like swim. You, know, you can still <laughs> yeah. open your pool up to the neighbors, or you can cook out for me and my family if you'd like. <laughs> There's an idea. 90 degrees, the high temperature today at Huntsville. It was 90, morning low 59. A 31 degree temperature rise from the beginning to the end, both in Huntsville and in the Shoals, and a 31 degree rise. Anything above 30 is a pretty dynamic temperature day from a very cool morning to a fairly warm afternoon. Temperatures now mid to upper 80s. With the wind still out of the north and northeast, they'll drop into the 70s once that sun continues to set tonight. Look at the clouds, though. Clouds from spinning Hurricane Ophelia. Ophelia was downgraded briefly to a tropical storm. It is now once again a hurricane right on the cusp of the hurricane force winds. And as Katrina reminded us when Katrina hit Florida, a Category 1 hurricane is still a hurricane and can cause damage, and even though the forecast continues to call for this thing to slide offshore, it looks as if it will go on offshore like it's doing now, moving northeast at around five miles an hour, and then loop back around and still affect the southeastern coast of the United States, including possibly Georgia and or the Carolinas. Here's the forecast track from the Hurricane Center. I have this, zone, this uh, cone of uncertainty still in here. Anywhere in the yellow that you see, that's where the Hurricane Center says, this storm can wander into. It looks as if right now it goes out to sea for another day and a half. Monday, actually Sunday morning, it stops, begins to turn back to the left and move back toward the shoreline. Now, even though the Hurricane Center forecast bullseye is just north of Beaufort, South Carolina, near Charleston, 
it will likely or could go anywhere from Cape Fear all the way down to Jacksonville, Florida. And this will likely make landfall as a Category 1 hurricane. And remember, hurricanes are still dangerous no matter where. So let's hope residents there as well batten down the hatches. I know the emergency management is preparing for whatever in that part of the country as well. Morning low temperatures, mid to upper 50s and low 60s. Highest tomorrow once again, mid 80s to near 90 like what we saw today in the Huntsville area. Forecast seven days away calling for temperatures to hover in the 89 degree realm on Friday, Saturday actually right around 90 degrees and heading into the weekend. Notice the weekend temperatures still very very nice with very little change still in the seven day forecast day by day save a very small cool down after our slow motion heat wave a slow motion cool down next week. Thank you Brad. For those of you who missed the party time band on our show last night at six o'clock take a listen. Sounds pretty good, huh? Well, you can hear even more of this music tonight. Find out how you can catch the blues and help with relief efforts. Next on Way 31 News, 5 at 6. Brought to you in part by Toyota. Angelina Jolie's video diary. Imagine. Then, Danny Bonaducci in therapy. Next E.T. Tonight at 6.30 on Way 31. At Tony Moore Automotive, We've relied on the same business principles for over 30 years. Create a relationship of respect and trust so people will feel confident doing business with us. We also know that price and selection are very important. Tony Moore Automotive offers 10 lines of award-winning cars and trucks, all backed by our $300 better price guarantee. Treating people fairly is what we do every day. Visit a Tony Moore dealership now. You'll love our deals. Treasures of the past, from the exquisite to the eclectic. Discover Railroad Station Antiques, where there's a little something for everyone, all under one roof. At Railroad Station Antiques, we offer a diversified collection of the finest antique furniture, art, accessories, hand-knotted rugs, and modern sculptures from the area's most respected dealers. From silver place settings to original oil paintings, from timeless keepsakes to formal classics, your treasure is here. Railroad Station Antiques, Huntsville. Boys, wonderful job. This is for all your hard work. A buck goes a long way. Yes! With the 99 cent deal at Pizza Hut. This one's on us. Get a medium pizza for 99 cents when you buy any large specialty pizza at menu price. A second pizza for 99 cents? That's all the reward you need. You think she wants a diving board? Gather around the good stuff. Birthdays seem to come around way too fast, but here's one we like to see come around. Braggs of Huntsville is turning 64, and when you come to the party, you can honestly say, Braggs, you look better than ever. The showroom is packed with furniture and decorating ideas for your home and savings up to 50%. Oh, to be 50 again. Take note of some new sly home theater, as well as some new accent pieces, antique reproductions from Maitland Smith. And take note of those savings, up to 50%. Bragg's 64th anniversary sale, now in its final week. Governor's Drive, Huntsville. As of today, there are 261 homes in Huntsville that are willing to house Katrina evacuees. There are hundreds more in Birmingham, Montgomery, and all over the southeast. If you're looking for housing or want to volunteer your home, visit this website, hurricanehousing.org. Additional information is on our website, waytv.com. Remember the party time band from New Orleans that we introduced to you last night? Well, they are part of a benefit concert that's going on right now, featuring several bands. Listen. The benefit for the Big Easy started at 6 o'clock, but it goes all the way until midnight. It is at the Grateful Life Community Church on Wellman Avenue in Huntsville's Five Points District. Admission's free, but they're taking donations, which will go directly to Hurricane Relief great way to spend the evening. Absolutely, and they're evacuees themselves, so it's wonderful to see that. Hurricane evacuees here in the Valley aren't only getting the fundamentals, they're also having free fun. This weekend, more than 60 of the state's tourist attractions, including Bird on the Mountain in Huntsville, are offering free admission for Hurricane Katrina victims. The folks at Burrett say they hope to make this time of crisis a little easier for families. They're also looking forward to showing off a little bit of Alabama's history. Also in Huntsville, you can check out Constitution Village, Early Works, Historic Huntsville Depot, PsyQuest, and the U.S. Space and Rocket Center for free. 
For a complete list of participating tourist attractions across the valley and the state, go to our website, waytv.com. If you don't have access to a computer, just give us a call, 533-3131. People all across the valley are helping hurricane evacuees. So far, the Madison Marshall County chapter of the American Red Cross has served more than 700 meals, sheltered 50 people at Grace Lutheran Church, met with 375 families for assistance, and deployed 20 volunteers on the national relief effort. If you would like to contribute to the hurricane relief efforts, you can call the Red Cross and make a donation. That number is 1-800-HELP-NOW. You can also go to their website, redcross.org. There are countless local organizations doing their part to help the hurricane victims. For a complete list of who's doing what and how you can help, just go to our website, waytv.com. And, of course, we here at Way 31 continue our involvement to help the victims. Way 31, along with WZYP Radio 104.3 and w WUMP, the UMP, are promoting a free night of skating and fun. It's at Carousel Skating Center in Huntsville, Wednesday from 3 until 6. Free skating, backyard burgers, Domino's Pizza for the evacuees and those of you who donate so pretty good deal yeah. TW star joins us now with more sports it's football Friday yes it is lots of football to talk about we'll get you up to date on the college schedule for Auburn and Alabama plus as Sharon said it's Friday night football Woo! time the best time of the year to be a football fan thanks for <laughs> watching Way 31 news five and six the usual Vamos, mister. We don't need no dead wood. Who does? What you need is yellow wood. Protects against rot, decay, and termites. Hey! Uh. Try out, maybe get a bigger glass for my lemonade? The kids have gone back to school and fall is just around the corner. Soon the family will be indoors again. Will you be ready? All it takes is a visit to Townhouse Galleries in Decatur or in Huntsville at Jones Valley. Many new shipments have arrived over the summer. So now we have the best selection of the best quality in the Tennessee Valley. And our special fall prices and incentives makes getting ready for the fall as easy as child's play. Uniquely Townhouse Galleries. A lot of my customers only talk about price when they talk about buying beef for their families. I tell them it's not just about price, it's about value. That's when you hit that perfect balance between quality and price, like we do. Now with your Kroger Plus card, fresh boneless pork loins are $1.99 a pound. And sweet cantaloupes are 10 for $10. I tell you, we are the right store for value. We're the right store for beef. More straight talk from Railroad Bazaar and Into Wireless, your Verizon Wireless authorized agent. Get the facts. Into Wireless keeps you talking wherever you go. Get into double talk when you buy one Motorola V276 camera phone for only $39.99. And get a second one free exclusively at all Into Wireless locations. Plus, for a limited time, we'll pay your activation fee. Get Verizon Wireless unlimited in text and pics messaging for only five bucks more. No surprises, just straight talk. Railroad Bazaar and Into Wireless, your Verizon Wireless authorized agent of the year again. In Alabama, there's family time, and then there's family time well spent. Moments that turn into memories instead of afterthoughts. Conversations that are more meaningful than deciding what movie to rent. Discover hunting in Alabama. Chances are you'll get in touch with a lot more than just nature. To get started, visit OutdoorAlabama.com. Outdoor Alabama. Share the wonder. It's time for Way 31 Sports with TW Star. Hey everybody, a Tennessee update. The Volunteers have the week off, but you can be sure Big Orange is preparing for next week's game in Gainesville against the Gators. That is going to be a big one. And we talked about the Tide earlier in the newscast. Late word today that freshman running back Roy Upchurch is out for the season with an ankle injury. Good news, though, for linebacker Freddie Roach. He is expected to play against Southern Miss. Kickoff against the Golden Eagles is scheduled for 6.45. ESPN2 has the telecast. Here are the particulars for tomorrow's contest between Mississippi State and Auburn. It's an 11.30 a.m. kickoff. The Tigers will be more than ready to get that first SEC win after losing to Georgia Tech last week. It can be seen on Jefferson Pilot.
And another great football Friday planned for you this evening. All the scores and highlights, band of the week, a way back win segment featuring me. You're going to want to see this yeah. picture. Oh, yeah, you're going to love it. <laughs> I'm going to take so much over this. And be sure to call in your scores. Write those numbers down, F and F. Join us tonight at 10. NASCAR qualifying for the Rock and Roll 400 in Richmond in progress as we speak. Heading into the final race before the chase for the championship begins. Tony Stewart, Greg Biffle, Jimmy Johnson, Rusty Wallace, Mark Martin, and Kurt Busch have all clinched their spots. Jeremy Mayfield, Carl Edwards, Matt Kenseth, and Jamie McMurray on the bubble and looking to keep their spot in the top ten. It's going to be an interesting week in NASCAR. And then, of course, football tonight, tomorrow, and uh, Sunday, opening full weekend of uh, NFL action as well. You haven't even given us a quick preview of that picture. We want to no, see it. No, I'm going to save it high school. from high school. Yeah, my senior picture. I'm going <laughs> to save it all for, for 10 o'clock. <laughs> Last look at your weather when we return. <laughs> 31 News is brought to you in part by Singular. 22 million customers, each one treated like a singular person. Singular fits you best. Attention shoppers, there's a Toyota Camry parked in a tow-away zone. Now get 1500 cash back or 1.9% APR financing for 36 months on the 05 Camry LE. That's 1500 cash back or 1.9% financing. Toyota, moving forward. Have you decided? Sirloin steak finger. Whoa, Nelly! Barry, you just ordered yourself a Shoney's value basket. What's your game plan? Well, I ordered the sirloin steak fingers, Keith. I'm gonna eat them. Sounds good. What about defense? Huh? You gotta be ready. This lineup brings five great all-American baskets to the table. I'm ready, Keith. I'm ready! From burgers to chicken fingers, these value baskets are ready to be gobbled up. All for just $5.99. Hurry, because just like football season, they'll go away fast. For great food at a great price, it's down, set, Shoney. <laughs> With the full authorization from the cities of Decatur and Huntsville under permit number 005125, Parnell's Furniture is quitting business forever. Everything must go to the bare walls. Get there before Parnell's warehouses and showrooms are empty. The time limit is set by the city is drawing near. In an effort to expedite this event, Parnell's has just taken additional markdowns on all remaining inventory. Save more than you would ever expect as Parnell's Furniture prepares to close the doors forever. Parnell's, Huntsville and Decatur. At Bell South, we've completed thousands of communications makeovers. After a while, you, you actually realize that we're not just helping people bundle their services. And we're not just giving them $125 cash back. We're changing lives here. Yeah, we said bye bye to high priced phone bills with unlimited local and long distance calling. We've had to cut a lot of cable along the way and brought in access to over 225 channels of direct TV service. Old cell plans? Yeah, we bagged those, and we brought in singular wireless. We replaced slow dial-up with the high-speed internet. You could feel that excitement. You know, for me, it's nice to know we're bringing people the services they need. $125 cash back, plus over $400 in yearly savings. Kind of makes you feel special. Call now and get services, savings, and up to $125 cash back from Bell South. Providing insurance and financial services in Huntsville, see State Farm agent Mike Hawkins. One man decided to sleep it off in the wrong place at the wrong time. He climbed into a dumpster in the Cincinnati, Ohio alley yesterday, but his timing couldn't have been worse. It was trash day. The mm. trash truck came by, picked up the dumpster, the trash, and the man. And just like the garbage, the man was poured in and compacted. Workers mm. heard him yelling, got him out, but not before he suffered broken legs. He is recovering in a hospital. Lucky to be alive. My goodness. And it has been, by the way, quite cool up in Cincinnati. Maybe oh, one reason why he's trying to seek shelter yeah. is the weather. Outside, let me show you what's happening in the next couple of days. We'll see temperatures near 90 each of the next few days. Morning lows cool, upper 50s to near 60. Thank you, Brad. That wraps up Way 31 News Live at 6. Thanks for joining us this Friday evening. Entertainment tonight is next, and we'll be back.